35, 35, 45, 70, 95, 105, 115, 125, 35, 137, 5, almost 150, almost 50, 10, 75, 75. Come on, Georgie. <laughs> <laughs> I got your hand gobbled up now. I, I don't give a fuck. I think I got it. Ah, we'll see. Don't call it. Oh, oh now you feel. No, no. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Don't call it quits, man. Right?
Ryan, I hear you, bro. Some bit of noise out here for our team. Yeah. Come on, let's take it out of there. Yeah. All right. We're strapped. Sorry, Denise, you can't hear us. One more year, he's psyching him out. Moose is going to Vegas. Oh, here we go. Sure, he ever left, but there we go. Explode, you know, 
And once I get up on that stage, it's all, it's all coming out like, ah, you know. Devin is very dangerous if you let him get in the match at all. He's got incredible endurance. Uh, so the key for me is to be very um, observant and very alert before they go and try to get a, a good enough position where I can be very explosive on them. If he gets position on me and I can't finish him quick, uh, I'm through. As we look at the road to the semis, you see Brzezink already defeated Devin Larratt, but both these men, Neil, are in great shape and should both be fresh. Yeah, nip and tuck at this stage in terms of who would have more miles on the clock as we come into this final, but very uh, similar in one respect. Both men are good at everything. Always jostling for position. Best two out of three. Here we go. The route to victory here for Brzezink is speed. He will want to finish quickly. Devin Larratt trains on the counter. And a bail there. You were just about to go back. Oh, yeah, right. You have one foul. I was going to lift your body and flip Trevor with my head here in a second. Devin Larratt is looking for the strap. He receives a foul for his troubles, but that's exactly strategically what he wanted to achieve the strap will anchor lower down his arm and allow him to put the brakes on John Brzezink more easily Brzezink will be looking to finish quickly his hand and wrist strength are superior and he goes for the early top roll but Devon Warrant has put the brakes on and now he will start to constrict and squeeze his opponent to the centre of the table feels his endurance is better as does John Brzezink. Brzezink will be trying to calculate a way through here and keep rising, applying pressure up into the hand and wrist of Devon Larratt. But Larratt is in a fabulous position, moves to the back of the pad, and he will make Brzezink work here. Even if Larratt can finish, he won't do so. He'll just wait it out and try to burn Brzezink in a fantastic position, and now he presses up. Trying to apply pressure into the hand and wrist of John Brzezink. Devon Larratt knows he's in control and Brzezink concedes. What do you know? What do you know? How do you like that? One more. Devon Larratt's strategy executed to perfection there, but the experience of John Brzezink, as soon as he felt his hand and wrist compromised, he let go. He knows that he needs to win quickly and will change his angle, change his style. This is a dangerous moment for Larratt. He must get to the strap. John Brazil will look to top roll the John Brazil's hand and wrist are iron. No opportunity to slip there. Look how John Brazil learned, was educated from his first experience with Larratt and didn't allow the Canadian to slip and make the strap. Wow. So we're even at 1-1 here. Best two out of three. Right-handed heavyweight semi-final. The winner moves on to the final with a shot at 20 grand. Ominous signs for Devon Larratt. John Brzezink has worked a strategy and will try to capitalize. Controls the hand. It's Brzezink with the win. The perfect storm with the win. Frustration for Devon Larratt. But John Brzezink once again underlines his credential, improving a legacy which has no equal. We monitored Brzezink and Larratt during this match. Some interesting numbers, including Devon's peak heart rate of 228 and his peak G-force of 1.17, equivalent to a Bugatti going from 0 to 60 in 2.4 seconds. Congratulations, John. People say you are the world's greatest arm wrestler. How much pressure do you feel coming into a match against Devon when you hear that? It was tough to prove it right there and there. Um, mental note for me and everybody else in this room, do not hook Devin Lorette. Holy cow. What was so tough about that match? You, oh, you almost conceded in that first round. I, I felt so confident that even if he got me hooked, I thought I would be able to roll him, but he dug it in that first match good and deep. And whew, Yeah, I should have gave up earlier because he's got tremendous endurance. I knew I wasn't going to be able to pull him back through it, but thank goodness I still have a top roll. We'll take a few deep breaths. Rest up. We'll see you in the next match. John Brzezink impressively on. He is, however, 
possibly the strongest individual in a game which is ultimately about strength. Jerry Cataret is a difficult puzzle to solve. But Dave Chafee, interestingly, may just have too much power. We know Jerry's just had a war there. Dave earlier today, but look at that from Dave Chafee. That is astronomical power. And he seems to do it with very little effort. Just rolls to the side, and Jerry Cataret just completely unable to find his position. This is a man with multiple world championship titles. And yet he cannot find Close any weakness at Go. all in Dave Chafee. Chafee just powers through his opponent. Incredible strength. Dave Chafee is an awesome specimen. Easy money for a reason. Look at that roar. So much raw horsepower. For those people out there who say that arm wrestling's about technique, not for this man it isn't. All about that diesel horsepower for Dave Easy Money Chafee. He's on to the final. We get ready now for the other super heavyweight semifinal on the right side. champion but Nelson knows this man inside out they spent time training together and he will relish the opportunity he wrestles on pure emotion Tom Nelson taps into that and uses it it spreads like a fever throughout his body and will try and harness the strength that it yields Jody Larratt always cheering her husband on. She is in the pit down there as these two guys set to square. Larratt beat Nelson earlier. Here we go in the semis. Look at Nelson's face. He's absolutely raging inside. You gotta slide your elbow back or something, but you gotta come down to him. Thank you. He's freaking out over there, man. He's fine. Lauren, you're loving. Close your thumb. Do not go over his thumb knuckle. Get this out, Devin. Straight, straight. Close your hands. Bam! What? All stars. No way. I didn't even go. I thought you'd call him out. Yeah. <laughs> Trace around, fired by the Canadian Special Forces soldier there. Straight to the pub. There wasn't even a ready. A little tester from Devin Larratt. So one foul on Devin Larratt, three and you lose the pole. Here we go. Best two out of three here in the left-hand semifinal. Watch for the start from Devin Larratt. He will try to finish early. The block attempt! Oh, that is a venomous drive to the side. Frustration on the face of Tom Nelson. Wow. Wow. Unstoppable side pressure from North. Limits, Devon Larratt, using a combination 
of elements there to overcome a lethally dangerous opponent here on the left arm. We'll look for the same in the setup for the second round. The height, the length makes this man so elusive. He'll go to the back of the bottom and drive forward there. It's a win. Now, final 10,000 minimum. I love you, Tom Nelson. Marcio. Devon Larratt pulls out Marcio Barbosa, the Brazilian himself. Has a tough match to overcome in a lethally dangerous Norman's Thompson's, but for now, a great and impressive win from the reigning champion. Congratulations, Devin. What was the most difficult part about going up against Tom? Tom Nelson, I got to spend about a month out in California uh, in the last six months, and I consider Tom Nelson to be a close personal friend of mine. He embodies what fighting is, you know? Tom Nelson is all heart, but I was just lucky that while I was out there, I got to learn what made him tick and... Yeah. How difficult will it be to defend your title? Marcio Barbosa just cuts through tournaments and I, you know, am normally in the trenches, so... I've got to, I've got to bring him down to my level. Hopefully, we can get some fatigue going somewhere. <laughs> uh, it, it's going to be a tough final. Well, depending on what Marcio does, we'll see you guys in the final. Right. right. <laughs> Go Normans! Go Normans! To me, he's the best craftsman in arm wrestling, and I, I felt what he did. He started and just made it to where I couldn't open his wrist. So Devin Larratt on to the final. Super heavyweight left hand competition, hailing from Petaluma, California. I need Eric Rufel to the table! It's fitting that a man featuring the final of the World Arm Wrestling League hails from the birthplace of arm wrestling. Petaluma, California, the home of Eric Rufel. He has an opportunity for greatness and to etch his name into the annals of history by beating one of the greatest super heavyweight arm wrestlers of all time. His opponent, the WAL reigning champion, Travis the Beast, Beijing to the devil! Travis Beijing carries with him to the arm wrestling table an aura of invincibility. Many people have bought into that aura, and he is bought in heavily. The agent believes he is invincible, and that armory has served him so well. He believes that he is the greatest left-hand competitor in the history of the sport. He has never lost with that left arm. Here comes the cash. 20,000 large on the table. Eric will fell there against Travis the Beast Bajant. Best two out of three, Neil. Travis Bajant will look to finish this very, very early. Square up. Eric Waffel has tremendous leverage, huge hands, long arms, but he lacks the speed of the beast. And Travis can take you out of your power extremely quickly. A lethal start to Travis Bajant! I thought he was stronger than that. Disdain for the power of Eric Wolfell there, displayed by Travis the Beast Bajan. A combination of back pressure and evil speed to the side. Uh. Travis Bajan with an incredibly comfortable first round win. That will have really set the nerves jangling on Eric Wolfell. Watch, watch, you're about to Eric needs to start up. early, he needs to, to stay well, climb up that hand. Close your hands. Go! Go! Way up. Oh. Travis Bajant saying, and he was way up, and to be fair, total justification in that. Eric Wolfell climbed in the grip. Up, Travis Bajant is a master in the straps and will relish the opportunity Close to prove hands. that here. Go. 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 Off the start. Oh, well, Sorry, Falcon sees. Oh, <laughs> Travis Bajan talked Eric Wolfell out of competing for twenty thousand dollars. Such is his aura and dominance in the sport. 
wife Casey delighted there, and Travis Bajan is all smiles. He is, and looking at the numbers from the final, they're pretty similar. So, Neil, the question is, was this win about technique or strength? This win was about belief. Eric Wolfell's lack of it here, and Travis Bajan's absolute confidence. Off the start, Bajan utilised the strap there to make every weapon in his arsenal readily available, and he completely neutralised Eric Wolfell. Here's Bajan with Renee. Congratulations, Travis. How important is your self-confidence to your performance? I think that everyone in here should do anything in their power to be as confident, as happy as possible. So that's what I'm trying to do. Congratulations. Travis the Beast Pageant. His legacy is enhanced. He is the world arm wrestling champion. Travis has had a cleaner route to the final, and we've talked today already about the explosivity, but the confidence of Dave Chafee, having previously defeated Nick Zena, could be important here. Heavy, heavy, super heavyweight. We need Nick to fall for Zena to the table. Never seen Nick Zena look more determined and focused than he does right now as he approaches this moment. Somebody's going to get the $20,000 that will be placed in the middle of the table right there. The wall hammer on the line. Of course, two out of three here in this final. It's a victory from Nick Zena. He's really getting away early and finding a position from which he can win. He does not want this match to stop. Dave Chafee has so much horsepower. That's a great start from Zena. He uh, slips and gets to the straps, but of key importance there. Look as the match slips apart. Nick Zena's hand is actually over the top of Dave Chafee. The index finger over the index finger knuckle of Chafee. Hand control achieved. The strap favors the power man. Surely that is Dave Chafee. Big drive from Zena, and the brakes are on, and Dave Chafee. Now we'll start to apply that incredible horsepower. And there's the win for the reigning champion. Frustration evident on the face of Nick Zinner there. He started so well without the strap, but the strap ties Chafee to his opponent. And from there, it's so hard to get around this man's power. So one win for Dave Chafee. Of course, two to win the match. 20,000 on the line, the wall hammer here in the super heavyweight right-hand final. Now a lower grip assumed by Nick Zinner here, and that could be a very bad decision. He's looking for the hook, but he looks unsettled and a little less confident than we saw. Oh! Dave Chafee with a top roll! Dave Chafee, for the first time, looked for technique there. He actually rolled out of the hand of Nick Zinner. That. Impressive. We take a look now at the numbers provided by River City's technology. Chafee's heart rate cracked 200 during that match, but you'll notice Zinna's G-force was higher. That's because he was fighting back against the man with the power, the hammer, and the 20 grand, Neil. For the first time, Dave Chafee forced his further evidence of that. Robbie Torpy's claims said it all. Speed is essential here. Uh, the road to the semi-finals for these men. That's two out of three here. Winner advancing to the final kneel to wrestle for 20,000 in the wall hammer. All right, gentlemen, set your elbows down, square up. You can get open hands so I can set you. Robbie Topi. Up and come up with a massive opportunity ahead of him here. Travis Bajant, the dominant. 
reigning champion of the world. Watch for the speed from the beast. Close your hands. One no, foul, no, 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 no. Mr. Topi. You did not have to do that. I'm totally okay with that. Robbie Topi there, just a little bit over anxious, trying to gain something on the start there. He knows that he must be away quickly, but as the hands close down, there was the back pressure. Back pressure is a key weapon for Travis Page, and imagine you're Go. holding a 100 kilogram mobile telephone and pulling it to your ear. That's the kind of force that Travis Page applies, and he applies it very quickly. Believes with every fibre of his being that he is that bad. And looking at the evidence right there in front of our eyes, you cannot contest the fact that this is a devastating left-hander. Travis Bajan uses the skeletal linear motion of his opponent to try and weaken them. He allows them to fly force in one direction and then hits in an entirely different direction in a fraction of a second, neutralizing their power. But here, Travis, it's really playing now. That first round was a range finder, and he's playing to the crowd, having some fun up there. Really is an engaging character. Goes over to get some love from the little people in the crowd. This is a walking superhero, and Robbie Topi looks like one. Topi's only chance here is to try to stop the match and to find a position where he can utilize all that horsepower. Travis Bajan. He's a very Man, difficult right there, opponent perfect. to do that against. Wait till you feel this oh. right here in the stretch. Oh. 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 Mental no. weaponry employed by Travis and Travis oh. 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 with the pin. Oh. 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 not happy. Oh. I'm not one to f with those ridiculous. Thank you, babe. Robbie Torpy felt like Travis Bajant jump started there and got to a dominant position a little too early. I beat some of the best guys on the planet to get where I'm at, but uh, this isn't the outcome I was wanting with Travis. And uh, the way it all ended up in the end, I'm not happy with it, but like I said, I'm not one to complain, so it is what it is. I'll come back and get him next time. If I was better, I wouldn't have to worry about it, I guess. Travis, before we get to the win, I think everybody wants to know, what do you really think of yourself? <laughs> As you guys can tell, I'm not usually one to brag, right? But it seems more apparent than ever that I am a super, super bad dude. <laughs> so in all seriousness, what makes you so unbeatable on the left? Well, I mean, the Lord, of course, or whoever, someone. Someone decided that the strongest arm in the history of mankind would be connected to me in this brain so um i'm just a super lucky guy plus my woman's here today and i ain't trying to no. i'm not taking no movements in front of my girl yo well good luck travis in the final Four times, four times world champion. We give him my best. Craig Tulia, man. Come on, Louisiana. W-A-L
Stay focused, Stephen. Stay focused, Stephen. Alan, get your elbow back to you, Alan. Ethan, Fritchie, and Alan Fisher set to go to war. Get your lat lock close, Alan. You're too spread out. Kansas City and San Diego. Alan Fisher's got some hand control. Ethan, Fritchie's got it. He moves in. Oh, God! Alan Fisher and Alan Fisher are going to go to war.
congratulations. That was an incredible match. You really fought for it. You worked hard. Tell us what brought you to the top. It's a good day. It is a That's good, a good day. day. It's you know? a good day. I've never seen you work so hard, actually, I have to say. Marcio is, uh, is a well-rounded dude. He, when he came in with the flop there, second round, I was it shook me up a little bit, but yes. I got what I needed, and I, I got what I wanted. You're, you're a beast. You came out on top.